Hello guys, as I promised, this is my second tutorial where I will be explaining a little bit more detail about basic divine crafting. First, uh, well it's part of the craft, but for example where you are not divine, you use uh, eternal armor or uh, red dragon boots to obtain rare items. Here on Divine you have uh, two items, one of uh, which is uh, so-called Zenith Ring and the other one is Old Moon Necklace. I will explain later about the necklace. Uh, at lower level uh, maps you see, uh, well I'm not sure about the stream flow but uh, where you are in uh, uh, Sinkang upper or lower you will need this ring so in order to get uh, Yama's yellow weapons and armors which to be honest are not very good but people want to have them so for this uh, ring what you need is to take a quest here uh, I already uh, took it, but I'm not sure if it was one of the NPCs here. Uh, I don't know why it's uh, on uh, Spanish. It's Arma dos Poderes sobre Sobrenatural. It's I'm, I'm not very good with Spanish. <coughs> but basically, it requires you to uh, get four ingredients so you can get all drink. And actually, it's the all drink. It's actually the recipe uh, for crafting any drink which actually causes the drops it's very hard to get it's not like the old moon with necklace which I will show you later how to get it so basically what you need is uh, a thousand year old ginseng uh, halipure gold tour warlord high and oil painting warlord high you can get just from grinding mobs in uh, upper and lower mountain so it's e easier to obtain people usually sell it for as i told you in the previous video for like five six millions but the other three ingredients uh have to be gathered here on this map uh, in dime desert so basically you see the map uh there are three type of resources you have uh, minerals uh, you have uh, plants and you have the obelisks uh, Minerals, you know uh, for like uh, eight years we uh, Gather minerals. They are concentrated in the northern area of the map here uh, You have plants uh, which are on the western side and you have uh, the obelisk which are uh, on the east side uh, We will pass uh, so I will show you the basic idea uh, to uh, get uh, to gather uh, materials you will need your skills uh, for each type of uh, resource maxed you see we have here uh, sandstone thumbstone it is the one that will use it's in paint, yes, but it's the only way you get the old painting. If you see, uh, oh, I will lower the noise. Here. You see the uh, you mark the sandstone thumbstone, and then you use the calligraphy skill, which is actually you see all rock with the uh, word, so you get uh, the recipes or the oil painting so you see uh, the mineral depletes every time you mine it so you have uh, 22 times to mine one uh, tombstone uh, if there are no other people uh, gathering you uh, you'll be able to gather a lot but the drop rate is very low I don't know if it was made intentionally or not uh, I might like, you know, 
200 tombstones and still no whole painting drop. Uh, but well, let's see what we will get here. Uh, no, we still haven't got anything. We just have the tombstone and yet no drop. But it's normal, you, you have to spend uh, several hours to get items you need. I, this uh, one actually, especially from uh, mining minerals in the northern part, is very profitable. It's compared, it's comparable with uh, grinding the upper mountain, uh, which I can say the same for tombstones. But of course, if you get uh, the old painting and you don't use them to get uh, the ring, you can sell them on uh, market for like uh, four or five hundred millions, so it's not very bad. Okay, it's uh, last craft. So we'll skip uh, the part uh, with uh, a tombstone, so we'll go directly for the most important area. You see the northern part here, this is one of the uh, spots and this is the other one, where you have the, uh, the minerals. The interesting thing is that you get uh, both of the necessary ingredients from uh, these uh, minerals. You had the uh, gold tour and uh, you also get uh, a thousand tier old ginseng. You see we got the uh, ore distinguishing device which uh, actually helps uh, a lot when you gather. It uh, actually raises the rate. Uh, you see this is from like uh, 40 minutes grinding. I got lots of uh, items plus you see highly pure gold ore. This is one of the ingredients that you need uh, to craft the ring. Uh, the next thing you need is uh, uh, 1000 years old ginseng. I got free 100 years old which doesn't work for me. I need 1000 years old but uh, I'm not crafting the ring now. I will just uh, show you where to gather. Uh, you also get uh, good uh, drops to make money, white silver ores, which is the most common drop, you sell for like uh, 50,000, which is not very high, but you get uh, white silvers, which is expensive, highly pure silver ore, and red meteorite, which are also uh, expensive ones. You also get this type of red jade, white crystals, uh, I'm not sure which was the third one. Uh, but uh, it's uh, the three ingredients that you need to uh, craft the jade, the precious jade. Uh, if we are lucky to get one more, we'll try to do that. Let's uh, just uh, try to get one more material mineral while I'm explaining this. Uh, basically, when you got uh, the, all the ingredients, you go finish the quest and you get the uh, book. You see, this is the boss uh, thousand uh, centipede, but it's there are actually two mo mobs of this type. The one uh, which has drop and this one doesn't have any drops, so I'll skip it. I'm trying just farm glittering uh, min uh, mineral with aim to get one of the necessary requested items well I, hope, I don't think i'll get one but i'll explain you later uh, what we, we, you can do you can buy materials from uh, the market uh, currently there are no a thousand uh, gin, uh, year, uh, year ginseng but uh, there are some more painting but uh, i don't have uh, the time and i don't have the patience to mine it so i prefer to make money to buy them but uh, because i'm high level i'm just skipping uh, the part with the zenith ring i prefer the to empty the items well i keep the i actually won't keep anything because i have uh, three more gold ores in the stash and i will need only one okay the mineral is over so we are porting back to town. 
And we'll go directly to the market area. When you are higher level, when you greet Kunlun Mountain and higher levels, uh, you need Old Moon Necklace. Uh, it's actually much, much easier to drop. Uh, there are two ways uh, to get it. Uh, there is a mob uh, here in Kunlun's. Uh, let us uh, just prepare. Okay, and we'll go and look for the sage who is the monster that we need. Okay, here we are. We found, you see the Kulum window uh, with sage. Just be careful, he's easier to kill, but sometimes he has insane crit. Okay, we will use a drop and we attack it. The good thing is that uh, it's actually a 100 almost percent drop. You see, we got drop old Monuin necklace, which also have has uh, the stats I was playing. You see, it took half of my blast. I will explain the whole Kunlun Mountain and the craft in my, one of my next uh, tutorials. Here you can get a decent mask, you see. My mask is uh, no Master Kunlun mask. We also uh, can get weapons which are not very good. Uh, armors which are not good and we get accessories which are kind of tricky to craft okay so basically you see this is the area you you see the yellow uh, items which you can drop when you farm here uh, and to what you need is old necklace of moonwind which is which you get just get so we have this old necklace it's a uh, 2000 minutes you can also go and uh, make a hose it's not a bad idea uh, since you can use this